And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Fizz. That's right. Uh, gonna head on over to Bilgewater for some aggro. Pairing up um, one of our newest champions, Riven, with one of the coolest champions, Fizz. So the reason why these two really work well together is because with Riven, whenever you gain the attack token, you get to Reforge. And reforging means creating burst spells that cost one mana. And there's a variety of them. And spells are exactly what uh, Fizz wants. Because, of course, Fizz will level up once you've cast six plus spells. And then also, to be able to give Fizz elusive, so Fizz can strike, uh, you need to cast a spell first to be able to give Fizz elusive. And, uh, and so, like, having a burst spell that you can play immediately at the beginning of your turn and give Fizz elusive, and then go right to attacks is really valuable. And so that's what um, Riven provides, because, you know, like, you, you go to your turn, you gain the attack token, you get to Reforge, get that one mana spell, you can use it, um, and it doesn't have to be used on Fizz, you just have to cast it on, on one, you know, something, and you uh, give Fizz elusive. So we're kind of taking the, the Draven Fizz deck that we've played a few times and kind of replacing Draven with Riven, and seeing how that works with Riven uh, making these Reforge cards. I could see that working out pretty well. So that's what we're going to try um, for our first deck today. Besides that, I didn't really want to make any other changes. Um, I, you know, kind of, you know, we're kind of debating between like Sharpened Resolve is a new Noxus card, three mana, give an ally plus three, plus two this round. Is that better than Pocket Aces, where Pocket Aces is the permanent plus two, plus one, it's not just this round. And also sometimes Pocket Aces can cost two mana which can be really important instead of always costing three mana. I don't know. I don't, I, that's, that's a, hard, that's a tough one to, to say. Uh, we're going to stick with the pocket aces for now, but that's something that, you know, like while we play the games, we can be thinking about whether we would rather have the one time plus three plus two with the sharpened resolve that always costs three mana. Hard to say, hard to say. Um, no really other threats that I want to put in like for the other the other units we have uh, three copies each of eight different units uh, two one drops two two drops two two three drops with ballista riven then a spray fin and a wave rider um, I don't think that like the three one there are forges uh, the new card I don't think that's better than legion grenadier I think you'd still rather have grenadier over that even though that would get you an extra forge card oh and then of course also the other spell weapon hilt like, is, is Weapon Hilt better than Pocket Aces, or is Weapon Hilt better than Brothers Bond? I, Transfusion? I don't I don't know. I, I don't think so. Um, I think these other spells are probably better, even though, you know, you do get the Reforge in there. Um, but those are those are things to think about while we, while we play these games, is, you know, like, will, would those new spells be better? An under-the-radar card that could maybe fit in here also would be Wiggly Burblefish, but I, could, I couldn't really find where to put Wiggly Burblefish in, because, again, I don't think I really want it over the 24 units that we had. Um, and But, you know, like, this is actually, this is a card I've been impressed with, and it can just be, an, it could be another elusive threat um, that doesn't cost very much mana if we are playing a good amount of spells. Like, this deck, we, we play a good amount of spells, so maybe it doesn't cost very much mana. And then whenever it's summoned, it creates a one-cost spell from your regions, and Noxus does have good one-cost spells. Um, you know, like, with this deck, we do have uh, Elixir of Wrath already in here, but you know, so Elixir of Wrath would be a good one. You know, maybe a Guile can be useful, a Blade's Edge can be useful. Um, I'm not sure about Ravenous Flock, that one's not as good for this deck than, than those others, but those are some pretty good spells. But again, you know, like, you can't just like put cards in your deck. You gotta, if you put a card in, you gotta take a card out, and there's not, not really anything that I want to take out. So we're just gonna keep it like this. So we're gonna play some games with Riven Fizz, and we'll see how Reforging helps with Fizz. Yeah, we're fizzing. Okay, Grand Plaza deck right away. So elusives are good against Demacia of like, you know, like where they can't really block them, but then there's also um, the two mana card from Demacia that's uh, really strong that I just forgot its name, um, Sharp Sight. You know, Sharp Sight's a card that we need to kind of worry about. Let's get rid of the Golden Narwhal with us having this for the 2-drop, and I'll keep the other ones. And we'll give this a try. Purple Fish. Got 
Awesome. No blocker. I like Golden Narwhal. I think I'd rather play this like a little bit later, like when we can play this and we know that uh, it can get an attack in. Pass. Don't play. Okay, okay cool. I was like, don't use Bell Mana on a unit, please. Um. Gotta go with the flow. Alright, 13. Shining gifts from the sky. Here we go. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. I really hope they don't have a single combat. This is why the challenger is just good enough. You know, you don't need to give plus one plus one. Challenger is good enough. I really hope they don't have a single combat. Just let this happen. Oh, that's that's perfect. All right, well, I can I can go Elixir of Wrath. Probably need to save it to do with Nexus damage. So this could be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve damage. That's five mana. I only have seven mana. Twelve damage, of course, puts them down to six. It doesn't. I'm not gonna be able to kill them. My heart and soul for the buffing. So I go all in, so eight eight more damage would put them down to again, put them down to six. So we never know, like they could just have sharp sight, right? Like if I just go like elixir of wrath, elixir of wrath, they go sharp sight. Because yeah, they're playing hush and sharp sight. And then they have that huge lifesteal thing. This is just a nightmare. This is my current this is currently my least favorite deck to play against. Hush, sharp, sharp sight, single combat. They're still at 18. Riven's not going to really be able to reforge for me. Alright, perfect hand for them. GG's. Okay, different deck. That's good. We got a Fizz Mirror. Keep Riven Sprayfin, but I, I don't necessarily want to just keep all three mana units. I want to try to find some earlier stuff. So they have the attack token on turn three, so I think I'm going to be playing my Riven on their turn three so that um, turn four I gain the attack token with the Riven in play, and so I'll be able to reforge. Yep, 
Yeah, absolutely. Ch Challenger is incredibly strong. That is strong enough for that card. Um, you know, being able to just determine how attacks and blocks happen every single combat is just a is is you know like that's just unbelievable. Like that's just yeah, you, know, you get to determine everything with with having all of your things have Challenger. Them also getting plus one plus one is just absurd. But I think everybody's expecting that card to change. You know that that happens sometimes, right? With card games, like you know, you want you want new cards to see play and stuff like that, and so they made it a little bit too strong. So while I like Sprayfin, the one thing about Sprayfin is we don't have any room for attuning right now unless I play a spell immediately. Still much no but I guess I do that. Now. And actually, I was planning on playing the Sprayfin before combat, but I actually decided to just do this because I don't think they necessarily want to block with either of those. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Talia says, I can see Hush move to three mana in the next couple of patches. Plaza could go to four or five mana to get. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, the plot, the thing is, the, you keep, hmm. the problem with making Plaza expensive is that, you know, just the more, the more man you make Plaza is that the longer, the longer it takes for it to get, get into play, the less valuable Challenger is. You, you just kind of kill the card, you know, like it's, it's the thing that like you need Challenger early, like it, making, um, making it cost more isn't necessarily that like, doesn't necessarily help. I think just re reducing its overall power, reducing what it what it does overall is kind of what's necessary. What's the deal with all these lifesteal things? Why are, you here? Why are we facing all these lifesteal things? What? <laughs> well, how do we deal with that? I mean, I guess I could just play Weapon Hilt and... Yeah, I guess I just have to play both of these. Yep, that's what we're doing today, Pawn. We're giving... Uh, we're giving Fizz a big sword. In My instincts was to play Nocturn Fervor and and stuff, but then realize that now it's probably just better just to do that. Okay, so we're going to give you Overwhelm, and we'll give, I don't know, I guess, you Quick Attack. Even shattered hearts mend in time. Say no to Fizz. Another moon veil. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. Hmm. Don't have a great plan right now. I could. We like pick a card or something. Give Riven the Blade of the Exile. Really just needed some tape to reassemble. We live here. And then I'm, you know, kind of seeing if we are gonna cast Decimate or if we're gonna do any of these other things. I guess I could have I could have blocked the Yeah, maybe I was supposed to block their lifesteal and then. I probably should have blocked the lifesteal and then auction for a burden. Oh, 
I think we're good though. I think we're gonna be just fine. Unless they have Hush. I guess Hush is how they could beat me. Fear not death. You can't do this. All right, let's see. So if we go Noxion Fervor, this thing, go upstairs, that would put them down to two. And we'll do that with Brothers Bond on these two. And that keeps me three mana for like another Noxion Fervor. They did have Hush. I guess the thing to do is try to go in on this. This would mean so like guiding touch doesn't doesn't save them, but that does save them. Another astral protection. Yeah, I wish I would have blocked their life steal the last turn and then fervored. Hush is a heck of a card. Heck of a card. You will not break me. Hush is a heck of a card. That doesn't do anything. Oh, they just want to turn on Nightfall. No, we must start over. Like that. Oh, hey, another hush deck. Yay. Maybe this time they won't draw hush. That's about my only answer. Maybe they won't draw Hush, maybe they won't draw Sharp Sight, maybe they won't draw Single Combat. All three of those cards are incredible. They all cost two mana. And I can't beat any of them. Asking you about dragon titles, we have an answer. But if they don't have, if they don't have those. We have a chance. You're covered. I'll follow where I can. Yeah, this this I may have just let Fizz die here. So let's see. Cause they, they would trade these and then my uh golden narwhal would stay a four four. Which would be kinda nice. Um cause, Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let that happen. I guess by letting that happen I'm saying I'd rather have Elixir of Wrath in my hand than Fizz and play. Which honestly may be the case because it's not the easiest to continually turn on Fizz. Like, you know, like right now, if I were to use the Elixir of Wrath, then I would have Fizz in play with one mana, and so I, I, I wouldn't be able to play Transfusion, right? It's so like the Fizz couldn't attack. Yeah, I'm planning on it, Rad. Yep, that's the plan.
So yeah, you know, just kind of going through the iterations of should we use Elixir of Wrath or not. Basically, using Elixir of Wrath right there would save three damage on the Wave Rider, but I think that it could be more important um, for damage on them. That Brothers Bond's a good draw. There we go. GG's. All right, no hush. And Zap's Brayfin was incredible, getting those two spells. I guess the, the other thing is, you know, we had, there was no hush for my opponent there, but then also um, no big lifesteal thing, right? Like the other two, um, the other two ones, like my, my opponents had big lifesteal units as well as hush. They had that combination. So Teemo Shadow Owls deck. Keep Brother's Bond with the permanent buff. I'm not really expecting too much removal from this deck, because I, I think it's going to be a real aggressive deck. I could be wrong about that. Oh boy, here I go. And maybe I should just be waiting on Fizz until like turn four or turn three. I guess I, no, I probably want to play Ballista on three, so maybe like turn four, turn five. Okay, but we did get two damage in. decision kind of easy. Okay. That's fine. Pretty good about this one. I don't know like how much of a control deck they are. They're kind of playing cards that make them look like a control deck. Yeah, they're playing gotcha. Well, good news, I do have pick a card to be able to go find some more cards. We'll pick a guard of Brothers Bond. Whenever I kept the Brothers Bond, like with Mulliganing, I didn't think that they would be a removal deck, but that has proven to be incorrect. They are very much a removal deck. Um, yeah, they could be a Hexcore Foundry deck. They could be. Try to have us draw more Puff Caps. That's certainly a possibility. Um, with our deck, like the, the pick a card is a card that you want to play on your opponent's turn because like whenever you're playing pump spells, you want to draw those pump spells on your own turn, you know, like whenever they're going to be fleeting. And yes, they are. They are a Hexcore Foundry deck. It's like a card like Brothers Bond. You don't you want that on your turn. Well, we're going to have plenty of cards. <laughs> Let's go Wave Rider, we have three mana. If we go Riven, we have four. Go Wave Rider. Play Riven on their turn. Not sure if there's any real reason to it. Okay. I guess now there is. I was gonna say I wasn't sure there's was a reason to attack with Grenadier, but. No, 
down to seven. Winter Ezreal is going to be an Ash Ezreal deck with a bunch of Frostbite and Feel the Rush. So, a couple Feel the Rush uh, to be able to put Ash and Ezreal into play. That's going to be that deck. Yeah, that should be a good one. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. When will I find peace? Would it be better to play Fervor than a Ballista? That's the question. Another day in the field. You pick them, I'll plant them, kid. I only had three out of fifteen. I love to smell of mushrooms in the morning. One mana, they can't kill my four-two anymore. Playful Trickster can be really good. All right, we're gonna give a quick attack to you. I sense their power. I guess maybe I should have to the overwhelm thing. But I think get rid of block the Legion Dreaded here anyway. I'd be very surprised if they can survive this turn. I don't. And we have just all these spells in hand. I'll be very surprised if they can survive. It's already on them. This is eight damage right here. It's seven from them, and then one overwhelm right here. So this is eight. Let's do this. Let's do. There's still much to answer for. Let's do that. Wait. Let's first go. Um. Actually, no. Let's do this. I guess that's unnecessary, isn't it? Yeah, because they're still going down to zero. I just don't have to do anything with that. Right now. There they go. No. So I was thinking about shooting the the puff cap peddler to keep them from leveling up their teemo, but obviously now we don't. We won't do that. Okay. They didn't find any fastball removal. All right, two and two. No, Targon again. Because yeah, so so far, and this is Demacia Targon, also the worst. Because and Daybreak. Because so far, it's just been the big Life Steal thing and Hush. That combination. I think that's what's shut us down. And they're gonna have big Daybreak, Life Steal, and Hush, and single combat. So the worst possible. I will lead with precious pet. I want to get this attack in before they play the two mana three six. That card's pretty fair. Play Fizz or not play Fizz? Yep, yep, yep. I'll play Fizz. 
Because if they are going Grand Plaza, they're not really going to be able to challenge this turn anyway. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Overwhelm. Overwhelm's good. Believe or burn. Let's put him to thirteen. All right. That's acceptable. That is not acceptable. Good, that's not life steal. Not life steal is good. Devotion to battle. So I think I'm going to attack with everything. Yeah, I think I attack with everything. Even this, because like if they if their plan is like sharp sight block, then you know I want this ballista attacking also, right? Like so it's uh, it doesn't allow them to sharp sight block. And if, they, if their plan is like single combat, then you know we'd still have we'd have like this thing be able to overwhelm the damage in if that was their plan. So this would put them down to one. Why? Why did that card need to be printed? Bask in her radiant blessing. So I I think I'm gonna wait till next turn again with the pick a card. Um I just want to I want to be able to have like those extra cards during my attack turn with the, all those pump spells and stuff. Just big life steal and hush. That's the one thing that could defeat us. It was unlikely they were just going to pass the turn to me. Oh, they did just pass the turn to me. Okay. Okay. So, where are you at? Four? Have the playful trickster. I have nine mana, oh, come on, come on. so I can only play one fervor. Yeah, this is I guess like you know like this this line's pretty risky. Yeah, I could have could have gone transfusion on my yeah, transfusion and kill my own 4-4. I'm gonna go that line. Transfusion up the the fizz. I'm trying to hit them for six and kill my grenadier, which would do seven damage, but then we'd also have like another attack if this works. Yeah, there's there's some different lines we could go here for sure. That's great news. I think that's a win. Perfect.
Unless they have something they can do for one mana. Because they can only block one of my two elusives now. They're, they're both lethal. So there we go. Okay, so we ended up going three and two there with Riven Fizz. We got off to a rocky start facing those two decks with Hush and large lifesteal units. Um, you know, so it didn't, didn't start off the best. Uh, for our real aggressive deck that's just kind of focused on combat tricks to combat tricks and elusive uh, to win games um, but we uh, we pulled it we pulled it out we still even uh, defeated another deck with hush and with a big lifesteal unit that last game um, thankfully enough I think our deck's pretty strong though and I, I liked Riven you know comparing Riven and Draven for this deck I actually kind of liked how what Riven was doing you know Draven gets you like those spinning axes and the spinning axes are really nice they're they're zero mana spells to protect fizz and everything like that but I liked that I liked these um these little blade fragments I guess that's what you call them I like the br blade fragments um, you know, giving Overwhelm to Riven was pretty nice, or Overwhelm to something else, or, you know, like the Quick Attack to make their blocks not so good, that plus two, plus zero. Yeah, I, I really liked how Riven fit in this deck, and I think it did well. Um, Pocket Aces was really good for us. We mostly cast Pocket Aces as a two-mana card, and so it looked better than, like, what the three-mana card would have been. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think I like these like these cards. I, I don't think that uh, Weapon Hilt being the two mana burst speed spell there or the sharpened resolve i don't think those were really either cards that i was too interested in playing um you know that that three mana that's a big difference for how aggressive our deck is having like a two or a three mana spell is a big difference and pocket aces was two mana for us quite a bit and that does make a big difference um yeah that there we go so that's that's our deck so i mean it, yeah right now there are a lot of hush decks Targon is really powerful, and I think that's what you have to kind of watch out for with this deck. But it's difficult to it's difficult to handle. It's really fast. It's really aggressive, um, and I like it. And it's uh, fun games to play as well. All right, but that's Riven Fizz. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, this deck. If you try it out yourself, you know, let me know what you think about it, and just anything else in general. Other decks you want to see on the on the youtube channel you know like what what kind of decks do y'all want me to play um you know anything like that love hearing those comments all right but that's it here for riven fizz so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video